Hi, I'm Chris from the Man That Rescues Dogs Foundation, and I am here with Ernie. What's up, Ernie? It's been a long time. I know, and Chris and I just actually finally met in person after a couple of years of corresponding by Messenger and, and Facebook, so it was great to actually finally meet. Very cool it, to meet you. Yes. And, and you've been following Michael and TMTRD for a long time. How long? Oh, like, how did you find? Absolutely. It was a Dodo film clip that I actually found Michael. It was the one that went viral originally and shown all around the world of him feeding the street dogs, etc. And and I think that sort of started the whole the whole thing. But then, yeah, I came in May 2018 and volunteered for about five days. And it was great. And of course, I fell in love with all of the dogs. And it actually really broke my heart to leave because I, I just hated saying goodbye to them because they're all just so beautiful, as you can see. So when you came in 2018, I think he just just moved here. How, how, how yeah. different is it? Uh, how is it now compared to then? Oh, it's, it's so different. It's so much bigger. It's, it, I would say, at least three times bigger. There was this section and basically the care unit, and, and that was it. But this it's expanded that way, that way, out that way now. But there is so more dogs, many more dogs now compared to then. I think there was about 380 then. So, you know, add on another nearly 300 now. So you need more space because, as you can see, like there's no kennels here. The dogs roam free, which is great because they're not locked away and they have their own areas and space to move, play, run. And if other dogs are running past, they're like normal household dogs. They run along the fence and bark because that's what dogs do. Yeah. But it's great. It's, it, this place is really heaven on earth for, for dogs. It is. It's, it's wide open and mm. we have a staff of 36. Way more staff yeah, too. Yeah, probably a lot more staff and we have a clinic now, a low cost clinic, three mm -hmm. veterinarians, two veterinary assistants. Yep. It's uh, definitely grown. Definitely. And you also sponsor four dogs. I you, do. I know you met Speedy before. Speedy and Sway I had met before on my last visit in May 2018. And then I saw Scruffy be rescued and he came with his ear completely destroyed and he was a bit of a mess and he just won my heart so when he came up for sponsorship i i grabbed him and chi chi who is in this shelter here um he came up and he'd been like up for sponsorship for quite some time and i couldn't believe that he was so beautiful that nobody had sponsored him and i thought he has to be mine so and I got to meet him and Scruffy this time and, and reconnect with Speedy and, and Sway, which was is awesome. That's great. And one thing about um, Chi Chi and dogs like Chi Chi for our sponsorship program, they often get overlooked mm. because they're not puppies, they're not in wheelchairs, and but they're past the age that most people would adopt a dog. Yeah. And he's also a bit shy. Yes. So, it's gonna be a challenge to get him adopted. He's probably gonna live his life out at the shelter, and that's the perfect type of dog to sponsor. Oh, so definitely. So thank you so much. They are definitely the ones that need, it's it's the underdogs. They're the ones that need, you know, the help and the support. You know, exactly. there, there's ones that will, will come up to you and 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 love you unconditionally, et cetera, but you know, it's the ones that are shy, that, that shy away, that are easily forgotten, yeah. and, and they shouldn't be. They deserve as much love and attention as, as all of them. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks again for uh, sponsoring them. And what would you say to anyone considering volunteering? If you're thinking about it, even half thinking about it, think about it seriously and do it. it it's absolutely life changing. When I came here in May 2018, I, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought I would be patting dogs and, and, and blah, 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 but it's, it's just so much more than that. You, co you connect, you, you're spending time with the dogs, you, you're making them happy, you're helping out the staff. Um, it, just do it, it's, it's just so life changing. This place has impacted my life so much that, well, like I sponsored four dogs since I've been here last. It, it, it's so important, this place. There's such a, a stray dog problem in Thailand that, every bit helps and places like this need the support uh, but volunteering it it really is life-changing it gets in your heart well we're so glad that you came back and we know that you'll come back again yeah it's so great to meet you, you and too. thank you for being such a, a great supporter
You're welcome. Um, Thank you guys for everything that you do. Yeah, for these the, the reason we can do what we do is because of people like you. Yeah, so happy to do our bit. Everything. Absolutely. Right. That's it. This is Ernie. She's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye.